How's it going, y'all? This is OBV, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review for NASCAR Authentics 2022 Wave 1. And as you guys know, these next set of reviews are going to be focused mostly on that. And I think this is one I definitely would recommend picking up if you guys love exclusive race win diecasts. But before this guy was known as this year's Daytona 500 champion, he was just an Xfinity champion. This is on Austin Cendrick's 2021 um, Penzoil 150 at the Brickyard uh, race win. Um, uh, PBG Paints Ford Mustang for Team Penske. So as you guys know, this is a uh, relatively nice looking car. We'll say that. So that was only offered, uh, I believe, in the 124 scale and was never made in the 164 scale until now. Thank you to the NASCAR Authentics. As you guys take a look, this is the new brand new packaging design that we got from 2022. As you see right there, mostly um, they uh, they mostly put like a black top right here. Like uh, the, on every packaging, this is going to be black and then whatever the paint scheme is. In this case, it's a PBG Rainbow. So hey, how about that for a Pride Month? So, <laughs> so. I guess this is probably a perfect review to review after all. Um, what a good time for this car to come out. But really cool. You got Austin Centric with the nice backwards cap. Um, that definitely screams Dale Jr. <laughs> And on the back, we got more rainbow, and there's the rest of the wave. You guys want to find that? And just, my God, look at that blading car. Just completely covered with confetti. And the Kyle Larson liquid color chase piece. But without further ado, enough of me going ahead and talking whatever I'm going to say. Let's go get this diecast review of the official unboxing of Austin Cendrick's 2021 PBG Paints Indy Race Win. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of its box. And before things started on this diecast review, let's look at the dun 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 free trading card. Yes, we actually got ourselves a nice little trading card right here. And it doesn't look like flimsy, you know, uh, you know, uh, piece of paper with the residue on it. So, aka the stickers. <laughs> but really cool. I do like that. I always, I, I'm a big fan of the Racewind diecast. I mean, as you guys know, if you guys saw, um, in my top 10, uh, my top 13 listings of the NASCAR Athletics Waves. Uh, the race win wave from last year's was my favorite, so, you know, spoiler alerts. But, as you see right here, we got ourselves a nice, pretty colorful looking uh, race win. I kind of like how, you know, the uh, packaging, um, uh, well, not the packaging, the, the banners are blue, kind of like what the uh, PPG co colors are. So, it's pretty cool. We got that nice PPG blue and the Austin Cedric wave in the finger. No, not that finger, the number one finger. <laughs> Pencil 150, I find that kind of appropriate. Watch some, someone in the comments be like, well, this was rigged because it's Pennzoil and Roger Penske owns the trek. Yeah, what a load of shit that is. <laughs> but really cool. Do you like that? I think this was like the second uh, time uh, the Xfinity Series uh, raced at this road course race, which is really cool. And on the back, yeah, Austin Cendrick and the NBC camera guy. I swear one of these days... Um, that that, that 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 some bitch is gonna get hit like i don't know but if you guys want to read the rest of the stats uh go ahead and read that he only led um was it 29 laps i believe so how about that pretty cool anyways let's get back to the die cast right here and there's a reason why i showed it on the driver's uh, not driver's side yeah what's my terminology now apparently this is the driver's side uh, with my big old forehead knowledge but now this is the pasture side because you guys know that you know this was run um you know at a road course um and let me just say, this is a relatively nice looking race win, guys. We'll be looking at the nice little details in the sec gate. I mean, of course, look at that corner panel. That corner panel does look really nice. Um, American Ethanol logo definitely looks really weird considering that there's no molding for it. But, you know, that's going to be expensive if they do that. But we got ourselves, you know, the, uh, I don't want to say new, but the updated uh, Ford uh, mold right there, which looks pretty cool. Um, and that's actually race accurate. They don't, uh, I believe... Uh, I don't know why they do, don't uh, uh, they don't have the Mustang text anymore. I guess just the words are too small. But you see the nice PBG colors right there. Uh, gotta love that PBG blue. But we do got some nice race marks and race wins too. Uh, well, yeah, it is a race wins. Apparently decals are race wins now. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. So bear with me, guys. I literally just got out of work. So a little bit on the tired and crazy side, but still providing you guys with a you know a somewhat uh, detailed review. Hopefully entertaining for y'all. We're going out right here. We do got you know some nice, uh, well, some decent decal placement. The 22 looks like it's definitely seen better days. Um, I don't know. I definitely that definitely a big overlap. Doesn't even look like it's supposed to be there, but we'll just let it slide, I guess. Um, I do actually like the Ford Mustangs on the Xfinity cars. They actually look pretty cool. Um, they're not like uh, what the um, the Camaros, which if you guys didn't saw any more uh, uh, Xfinity cars, I did recently reviewed uh, you know both Dale Juniors and Josh Berry's the 2022 cars. So if you guys love your Xfinity diecast, and this is probably the right channel for y'all. Again, that right here, we do get the same uh, quality issues when it comes to, you know, the paint quality of the rims. Um, unfortunately, I, I think it looks like this could be one of the last we're going to have. But you see the paint quality is pretty much flawless right here. And then you get right here. I mean, um, it looks, I don't know, it doesn't look the best. But you know what? I mean, I'll probably let it slide considering it's a race win. But last time I checked, I don't think we ever put... With race one with 64s guys, they never put details on uh, like brake dust or whatever on, on the uh, on the tires or you know any confetti on the window banners or such. Well, I don't know. That's just one I know noticed. 
But we do got a nice little uh, mark right here that's underneath where the side skirt is. And you can see the nice little rivets right there. Look at those rivets, man. And you see uh, the, the gradient right here, which I'm actually surprised. The gradient actually looks really nice. So great job, Lionel, for not screwing up the gradients. Um, I do like how they add that nice, nice little splash of blue right there. So the Snap-on logo doesn't blend in with those colors. But all these uh, colors might look quite familiar, especially all these sponsors as well, like Menards, PBG. Mostly all these sponsors carried over to, you know, eventually... Uh, Cindric's, uh, you know, full-time run in the uh, Cup Series. And there is his four race winner stickers. How about that? That's pretty cool. Um, and let's see, it's just like that as well. And we do got some more Ford logos right there. So really cool. Um, nice looking we got right here. Um, it's like that. I thought that looked like that had a gradient right there. But um, and that's just dust specs. So not a paint chip, but pretty cool. And the B post doesn't look terrible, but we do got some weird. Um, it looks like, I don't know, like it looks like it's looking like it's the, the paint is bleeding or something, man. That looks really weird. But you see all those nice, you know, uh, you see where the gradient kind of uh, edges out right here. Yeah, Car Quest. Guys, remember Car Quest? Uh, they, they, they used to sponsor, uh, you know, the Henrik cars back in the day. So that's pretty cool that they had. Uh, I think they even offered the, the Car Quest car in the Gold Series 164, but it got canceled. But you can see right there, it looks like Lionel was trying to create like a little indent of where the American Ethel logo should be. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I mean, I can't really criticize that, but I just find it kind of funny and kind of, uh, I don't know. Is that mark supposed to be there or not? I mean, I don't know. But you see, this thing is quite dirty and quite littered with, um, yeah, all sorts of grime and stuff like that. I mean, going to Indianapolis, especially the crazy race uh, they had at Indianapolis. My God, those curbs, man, those curbs absolutely tore up some cars. I mean, my Lord, saw all those cars going flying. My God, for a second, I thought we were watching Monster Jam for, for a second. It's like, man, the, those Indianapolis, uh, um, freaking bumps man let me tell you what i mean you don't see that indy car <laughs> um and for some reason we do got i don't know why the blue is like extending right here where the spoiler is that is kind of weird i mean i do there yeah it literally i think the car is bleeding blue underneath how about that <laughs> we pbg we protect and beautify the world well isn't that freaking gorgeous <laughs> oh lordy but uh, I don't even know why I showed this side right here. But uh, this is probably the juicy side right here because uh, I think he got this mark. I think uh, a lot of people are like, oh, that's uh, from his race win. But no, guys, uh, that's not from him burning out. That's actually, I think he got this around like the second stage or so because I, I think I saw like uh, like in the first stage, I think he was actually, he, his car was relatively clean. But then things got kind of crazy and chaotic like they always do at these road course uh, oval races. So, you know, the roval races. <laughs> um, but I, 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 you guys know me. I mean, if I, you guys know me, all right? This is one of my all time favorite paint schemes for Penske, especially me being a big Blaney fan. Um, and I'm kind of glad that they finally brought on the two. Uh, the quality of this 22 looks very wonky. It kind of looks like it's creating like a very shadowy effect right here. But look at that, guys. You got like touches of blue. Almost looks like it's chipped too. So, uh, five dollar no no it's six dollar quality now remember shit has been going up now so that is six dollar quality ah still doesn't ring a bell i'm still gonna call it five dollar quality it just ring it just flows better with the tongue if you know what i mean <laughs> but um you see the side skirt it's also colored half black i guess that's um i don't know why the side skirt's colored half black but i guess that's how it was on race wins so hey um or maybe there's a secret that we don't know about penske but uh yeah finney logo looks a little wonky race car nascar yeah that's a race car dipshit that's a nascar race car logo uh you know it's seen better days but nothing too crazy but you know standard lino quality controls so i can't really complain for uh six dollars i got that nice bright baby blue in the 2021 mustang but now let's get on to the side side comparison of the uh other pbg cars which as you guys know, we did got two other versions of this car, considering we had, you know, the Ryan Blaney PPG car, which I must say, this one has a pretty bad gradient issue, considering how much purple is on this. I mean, my lord. I mean, I, that's probably how the paint scheme was, but now looking back at it, I was like, wow, the 2018 one was looking so much better. But see, they absolutely just, you know, completely just, you know, gave the PPG logo a freaking upgrade. I mean, look at that. Look how wide that is. It's like, oh, yeah, how big you want How big you want your uh, PPG logo? Wide. Ignore that paint chip right there. I just used some white out. I got that. This is the car I got from Cracker Barrel, so I'm not really too much on the complain train on that. But you see what I mean, guys? The paint quality looks so much better from a 2019 car compared to this. I mean, just look how look much more cleaner that looks compared to this. Like, I don't know. It's just the quality of paint has even gone downhill. And I didn't even realize the Goodyear logo is literally so cocky guided right here it's like my lord literally hanging on the edge oh i'm just kidding that remember how the goodyear tires were three-dimensional yeah <laughs> the printing of them yeah pepperidge farms remembers 
So going on to the back, I kind of like how there's a blue spoiler, and here it's black, so it kind of really, it, it really kind of differs of what, you know, they, if somehow these cars were able to run together. But I also noticed as well, guys, they really did tone down the purple right here, which looks a lot better, because it looks like it got extended right here. I prefer the 2018 Blaney car a little bit more. This one just looks a little too chaotic with the colors. And we also did got uh, Br uh, Brad Kozowski's PBG car as well, uh, I think the year after that, which I must say does look pretty nice. Um, so I kind of cool that we got, you know, the I guess you could say the trifecta of the PBG cars. Um, and I think Joey Logano actually drove a PBG car at the uh, Road Course Daytona race last year. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I do not know if they're going to bring a PBG car back, but if they do for the Cup Series, um, heck, you know. I'm hoping it's Blaney or maybe Cindric. I like how this one is a white spoiler and that one's black. So I don't know, just some nice little side side comparison for you guys. Uh, I didn't even notice as well that all three of these cars also have uh, different colored splitters as well. So how about that? The Blaney, Cindric, and Kozlowski. So yeah, comment below which PPG car is actually your favorite as I'm already getting along in this video, but it seems like you guys do enjoy these reviews, so I appreciate that. But with that in mind, this is gonna wrap up the diecast review of Austin Cindric's 2021 PPG Paints Ford Mustang for Team Penske that he won at the Pennzoil 150 at the Brickyard. So yeah, feel free to comment below what else you guys want to say. And as Austin Cindric said in Victory Lane, you know, it's always great to be back home in Indiana. To me again, guys, this has been OBB. See you guys next time on the Diecast Review. And yeah, I will catch you guys back in the station for another NASCAR Thanks Review.